So as we look at that statement, hallowed be your name, let's just talk about name. What does that mean? In biblical times, the name stood for more than just a title or a designation by which a person was called. First um, Samuel 18.30 speaks regarding David, his name was highly esteemed. The name of a person takes on the character of that person, right? I mean, that's true in your life. When somebody gives you a name, you make judgments about that person based on what you know about the person. The name basically is the entry into all that that person is. The name stands for the entire character of the person revealed. The name stands for the the personal, the communicable and incommunicable attributes of the person you're talking about. The name of God stands for His nature, His character, His attributes, His personality. In fact, His name is everything that He is. That's why Psalm 9.10 says, those who know Your name put their trust in You. It's not just knowing His name in Hebrew or English, it means knowing His character, knowing all that is bound up in His name. I love Psalm 20, verse 7, some boast of chariots and some of horses, but we boast of the name of the Lord our God. We boast of the name of the Lord our God. Jesus in John 17, 6 said this most most magnificent statement, I have manifested His prayer to the Father. I have manifested Your name to the men whom You have given Me out of the world. What did He mean? I manifested Your name. I showed them Your person. John 1 says that Jesus was full of grace and truth because He was the only begotten of the Father. He was God in human flesh. All that Jesus is, is bound up in His name. In effect, Jesus clearly revealed God. His true nature was God. So name is not a title. It is the total of a person. And I think that's even true in life, And as I said a moment ago. When you say a person's name, that name immediately comes through to you as the embodiment of what you know about that person. So this is how you pray, Father, may Your person, Your character, Your nature, Your attributes, Your reputation, Your being be hallowed. And the very names of God are many, aren't they? Yahweh, the Tetragrammaton, the I Am, it's the verb to be. I am who I am. What does that mean? The uncreated, unchanging, self-existent, self-sufficient, eternal being. Elohim, the name that acknowledges Him as Creator and the third word in the Bible, in the beginning, God. El Elyon, which you find in Genesis 14, God the Most High. And there is Jireh, Yahweh Jireh, the Lord will provide. Yahweh Nisi, the Lord our banner. Rapha, the Lord that heals. Shalom, the Lord our peace. Ra'ah, the Lord my shepherd. Sitkenu, the Lord my righteousness. Sabaoth, the Lord of hosts. Shema, the Lord is present. Makadishkim, the Lord sanctifies you. And then the beautiful word, Adonai, Lord. But the most magnificent name of God is this name, Lord Jesus Christ. In Him, all the character of God is revealed. He is all that God is manifest in the flesh. So we understand the name. So we say, Father, I acknowledge all that You are. 